This video is on writing and equilibrium. We're going to use ourselves as demonstrations as well as the baby so that you can better see. The first reflex is labyrinth head writing. The position is vertically hold the baby. You're supported in space and the baby should be blindfolded. The stimulus is swing the body away from the vertical position. The response should be head writing. The next reflex is optical writing. The position is to hold the child in an upright position. The stimulus is to tilt in all directions. The response is for the child to attempt to write head against gravity. The next riding and equilibrium reaction is body riding acting on head. The position of the baby is going to be in prone. The stimulus is allowing the chest to contact the supporting surface and the response of the baby is to attempt to right the head vertically with neck extension against gravity. That is body riding acting on head. Riding equilibrium reaction is neck riding acting on body. The position of the baby is going to be in supine. The stimulus is turning the head to either side and the response is a segmented roll superior to inferior starting with the shoulders. Now again we're going to demonstrate on a person. The person is in supine position, turn the head to either side, and a segmented roll superior to inferior starting with the shoulder. And that is neck riding acting on body. Riding and equilibrium reaction is body riding acting on body. The two positions in this are supine and prone. In supine, the stimulus is going to be flexing the knee towards the chest and across the body, which causes a segmented roll inferior to superior. In prone, the stimulus is going to be to place the hand under the hips and pull gently back, and they're also going to have a segmented roll inferior to superior. Now to demonstrate on a person. And supine, it reflects the knee towards the chest and across the body, which causes a segmented roll inferior to superior. And prone, place the hand under the hips, pull gently back, and a segmented roll inferior to superior will take place. And that is body riding. Equilibrium reaction is Lando. The position you'll have the baby in is prone and supported under the trunk. The stimulus is going to be suspending the infant horizontally, and the response is going to be called the Superman, which is extending all extremities. Now to demonstrate on a person. Support the infant horizontally, and the infant will extend all extremities, and that is Lando. Riding equilibrium reaction is positive support of the lower extremities. The position of the child will be supported in a vertical upright position. The stimulus is to allow the feet to contact the surface, and the response is the child supports themselves through their feet. And that is positive support of the lower extremities. The riding equilibrium reaction is positive support of the upper extremities. The position of the child will be in ventral suspension. The stimulus will be allowing the hands to contact the surface, and their response will be supporting themselves through their hands. And that is positive support of the upper extremities. Riding equilibrium reaction is visual placing. The position of the child is going to be supported ventrally. The stimulus is to lower the child towards a flat surface, but don't actually touch the surface. And their response will be the arms and legs, legs extend to bear weight. And that is visual placing. The next three riding equilibrium reactions are protective responses of the upper extremities. The first is forwards. The position is ventral suspension sitting or kneeling, and this will do sitting. The stimulus is going to be displacing the center of gravity forward with a sharp push, and the child stops their falling with shoulder flexion, elbow extension, wrist extension, and finger abduction. The next is protective responses of the upper extremity sideways. 
This will be sitting. The stimulus will be displacing the center of gravity sideways with a sharp push. And the response is going to be abduction of the opposite shoulder and elbow extension and extension and abduction of the fingers on the contralateral side. The next is protective responses of the upper extremities backwards. This will also be sitting. The stimulus, the stimulus is going to be displacement of the center of gravity backwards. And the response is going to be hyperextension of the shoulders, extension of the elbows, wrist extension, and abduction of the fingers. And those are the protective responses of the upper extremities, forwards, sideways, and backwards. Now to demonstrate on a person. The first is forwards. The next is sideways. And the last is backwards. The next reflex is protective response of the lower extremity downward. The position is to suspend the child in vertical upright position. The stimulus is to quickly lower the child toward a flat surface. The response should be extension and abduction of hips, extension of knees, and ankle dorsiflexion. The next reflex that we'll be doing is the protective staggering reaction. The position is standing. The stimulus is to quickly push or pull into an unbalanced position. And the response is to take steps to regain balance. The next reflex that we're doing is a protective shift reaction. The position is standing. For the stimulus, you hold the hand and foot on the same side, flex the knee and hip, and pull the hand sideward. The response should be flexion and abduction of the ipsilateral hip, extension of the ipsilateral knee, and the child should step to the side. next reaction is the amphibian reaction. For you hold the child prone with the head in midline, arms near the head, and hips and knees extended. For the stimulus, you lift one side of the pelvis, and the reaction should be flexion of shoulder, hip, and knee on the ipsilateral side. <laughs> 